What's going on guys, it's Blackwater Super, and guess what, we are officially at the Tallahassee Auto Museum. We came up here to visit my boy Bruce, OG Magnum. Say what's up. What's up y'all? Yeah, yeah, it's We're his here. son Kiernan and his wife Miss Phyllis. And we are up here to go check out some really cool cars. You guys excited? Yeah, it's okay. totally cool. You sound so excited. Are you excited? Yes! Yeah, yeah. yeah this is, all right, all right. This we'll, is a we'll go-to spot for Tallahassee. A go-to spot for Tallahassee. So if you're ever exactly. driving through Tallahassee off the 10 freeway, uh, you definitely got to stop and see this because there's some pretty cool cars. So it let's go check out cool. some, car, some cars. You ain't nothing but hand dog. Crying on the car. Look at this! Oh my god, what? What is this, a recording studio on wheels? Wait, this is... Rockin' Caddy Music Video Disc Jockey. I, I don't even know where to begin. Check out this car. Absolutely awesome. But look at the detail. There's a book. There's an entire book about this car. X-Cash. Oh my god. There's so much going on here. Like, they completely took it down to frame. Tubular. I mean, wow. Oh my god, they made all the pieces individual. Wow. You're only at the third car. We're literally only at the third You're car. only at the third car so far. Let's get going. Oh, look at this color. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, that is bad. These are actually really cool because these are the original. These are actually 2010 Camaros converted into actual Pontiac train. They even the Yeah, yeah. So look, this is the one from. So this is the Burt Reynolds car from. Um, Bandit. It's the Bandit. Smoking the Bandit. There, there he is. There's Burt. R.I.P. Burt. We love you, Burt. But check it out. This car, they wanted since since um, Pontiac went out of business before mm -hmm. they could make up another train of band. This guy, apparently there's a guy in Tallahassee. Tallahassee that does them. It is. And he custom makes these things. They're absolutely awesome. So super next cool time, to see Next one. time you come up, we'll go We'll go hook up with him and visit. So cool. Maybe we can go drive one. Maybe so. Oh, Maybe I was so. driving a new train. I'm, but I'm sure he would recognize this car. This is a DeLorean. This is the car that used for Back to the Future. Now, what's really cool about this car is we actually have a guy in Orlando with the original, the movie car, Back to the Future. So this is what it looks like. So take some pictures, take some notes, because the next one you see on my channel will be the real one. Enjoy. Oh, Chevelle Super Sport. Oh, with the hood pins. Oh, it's so good. That's a Plymouth Roadrunner. Ah, oh, wow. And dude, look at that. Was the base look price the when it was when it was new back in the day? That's the base price. Yeah, that's not what it costs now. Oh my <laughs> God, look at this GTO. Guys, garbage truck with options. <gasps> a GTO judge. I wonder if this is my buddy, um, not Mikey, Ryan. My buddy Ryan's dad had a bunch of these classic cars in a warehouse in Tarpon Springs a couple of years back, and then they sold them to a private collector. I wonder if this is the one that he had. This is a GTO judge. Guys, if you've never seen the movie Sex Drive, go watch it, it's absolutely hilarious. This car is in that movie, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. There's a girl that actually pees in the radiator, so you gotta you gotta watch that video, it's funny. But uh this this car is the judge. The, the judge. Guys. 1970 Ford Mustang 428 Super Cobra Jet. <laughs> you want a car? I'll take that. I'll take that. That's babe, I found my car. I found the one I want. I want I want this. 1970 Ford Cobra Jet. Ford Ford Cobra Jet. For four. <laughs> Maybe he'll sell it to me. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out how much it is. I, I want that. 1970. Eventually. Oh, eventually. Oh, eventually. Oh, eventually. Oh, eventually. Oh, eventually. Oh, eventually. I want it now. No. Don't know this. This is actually Carol Shelby Series 1. This thing is awesome. $181,000 for the base price. They only made a handful of these. I don't think I've ever seen one in this color. I really don't think I've ever seen one in this color. Hey, there's Carol Shelby's signature. Carol Shelby, right there. Check it out. So what's cool about this car is, you ever see the movie Rollerball? The movie Rollerball, this car is actually in it. There's a silver one. Um, there's only a handful of these that were made. I don't know a lot about them. I do know that they are big V8s. I know they're super fast and they're super rare and super awesome. The reason they didn't sell so well was because 
the roof line actually is much shorter than it actually appears. So most people, when they sat in it that were tall, their, their forehead would be literally looking at the, at, the, at the top of the roof line, unfortunately. But they're amazing cars. So if you're like a short midget or you're like a short little Asian guy, this is a perfect car for you. Because this is, they're awesome. Right? They are awesome. Midgets or Asians or or little yeah. people. We'll call little people. You, so. You're actually going to edit that part out of your video. That's inappropriate on every level. Just saying. Moving on. This car is legitimately over 100 years old. It's over 110 years old. Look at this. That was the tire pump. Gotta love you, Kyle. Came with a bike pump. What is this? Oh, this is so oh my cool. God, bicycle. Yes, that's what they had back in the day. <laughs> Look at this 1911 Badock electric. So is this like the first electric roadster? I think that's what it was. What about this? 1990, what about? Wow. Base price, $592. You could have owned a car back then in 1909. I, I think if you had $592 back then, you were pretty rich, pretty rich. I'm missing all of the gangster cars. Look at this. It's the gangster cars. Oh my God, these are like total gangster cars. Isn't that cool as shit? Wow. Guys, there's so many cars here. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna do my best to, to get them all for you. Oh my God, look at the green. I always wanted a hood on Look at that. Nobody has hood on Wow. Not that happy. was fire. All right, Cannon, we found your car. Here it is. We found your car. The 1900 19. Snell. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. 25 miles an hour. It'll go 25. This went 25 miles an hour. Babe. Yeah. Babe. Yeah? This went 25 miles an hour in 1900. How fast was the horse? Okay. No, there is no horse. The How did it go? went 25 miles an hour. Oh, there's an, an engine. Hour. I didn't see that. Could That's you so imagine, cool. Could you imagine going 25 miles I would miles ride that. That would be down? awesome. I'd ride this down a is dirt it, road. 25 it, miles. Is, there is no dirt road. Yeah. Yes, there was dirt no, roads back then. Yeah. Not, not, not the road. kind of dirt road you're thinking of. They didn't have, road. Road. They didn't they have, didn't have broken road. rubble. Yeah, dirt. Yeah, dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah they had said. dirt. Yeah, that's what I said, dirt. But it was it was bumpy. It would be like it. It was bumpy. It was very bumpy. More gangster cars. He is a good and smart master, and he made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrels! Oh my god. Guys, I. So much going on. Y'all don't know this about me, but like these trucks happen to be my favorite. Eventually, one day, I will own one. I will definitely own an old Ford pickup truck. But these 50s, 60s style, 50s, 40s, 50s trucks are, in my opinion, I think they're probably the coolest thing ever. They. I mean, they were just, they were beautiful. Look at the design, look at the bed. Look at the rail built in and everything. You saw the real wood paneling, the full interior. I mean, just, could you imagine driving one of these? There was a movie called The Expendables. I always reference things to movies because that way you guys can go check it out um, and look it up yourself. There's a movie called The Expendables and they use this truck, but it's uh, satin black and it's got black wheels with chrome accent and it's, um, and there's a there's a fight scene with it, but they use this truck with a big V8. It's oh, such a cool truck, such a cool truck. I would trade my Raptor for one of these in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. What are you looking at? I'm looking at Abraham Lincoln's per a hearse. You're telling me Abraham Lincoln's body was at one point in time inside of this thing? That's right. That's correct. Look at this, guys. Abraham Lincoln's hearse. Okay, my favorite president, Abraham Lincoln, was actually in this guys this flag was draped across abraham lincoln's casket this is so cool oh wow and this was the route they took washington all the way up to albany to buffalo down through cleveland columbus daytona indianapolis chicago and then to springfield where he was laid to rest oh my the Springfield Tomb. Wow! You can't tell me that's not cool. That's super cool. That cool. is cool. All right, guys, we've now walked into Weirdville. No, it's not weird. I had them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say Weirdville. No. Look at the dolls. Barbies. They're Barbies. All right. Well, they're all in case. Is there an Annabelle doll somewhere in here? Don't say that. <laughs> there might be one. Stop. I wouldn't put it. Kyle, don't say that. There might be an Annabelle. No. I 
bet you there's a Chucky. Or one of those Howie if, Doody dolls. If one of these dolls' face turns, I'm running. Um, I'm for sure betting that there's a Howie Doody doll somewhere. In oh, this. we have one of those. I want to scare you with no. it. No. Look at this. They're, what? A Woody the Woodpecker! <laughs> Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. This dude has Barbies. This, this is this is honestly one of the weirdest places I have legitimately ever been. But it's also one of the coolest places I have ever been. So go figure. Oh my God. Okay, I'm getting out of Barbieville. I think I gotta go this way to get out of here. Oh my God. Guys, Elvis Presley. You ain't no book, pale, no, Doing. Oh my god, those are creepy. What? Oh, these are creepy. The head moved. The head moved. The head moved. No, it didn't. Oh, the Blues Brothers! The Blues Brothers! <laughs> yes. We are the Blues Brothers. Found the coolest thing here. I found the coolest thing. It is a vampire killing kit. It is legit a vampire killing kit. What? Like a real one, like with the gun and the silver bullet and the, the cross and... What? A vampire kit. Look at the picture. I'm gonna zoom in on this picture. Regular person? It's a vampire. Regular person? Vampire! Regular person? Vampire! <laughs> this is too cool. This is too- Oh my god! Cadillac convertible El Dorado. This was Madonna's. Yes. Marilyn Monroe's. I thought you just said Madonna. All right guys, so it's official. Unfortunately, there was so much in this actual vlog that I'm gonna have to make this a two-parter. I thought this video could be done in one. Absolutely not, no way. We're not even upstairs in the building yet. Um, again, this is recorded at a completely different time. We're on a completely new lens, having some fun with my 12 to 24 uh, G Master. Been playing a lot with cameras and cinematics. We're gonna be a lot, bringing a lot more of that to this channel. Um, again, it is a car channel. We'll be doing a lot of automotive, but unfortunately, we won't be doing as much automotive anymore. I'm just gonna kinda, I'm gonna start veering into things that I actually care about now, and I'm, and I'm, again, I like cars, and we'll do a lot of super content, but unfortunately, I kind of want to change it a little, so I hope you guys enjoy, stay tuned, guys, I'm Black Widow Supra, I'll catch you guys on the flip side, I'll see you later, peace out, love you all, you know the words, R.I.P. Turbo, my dudes, R.I.P. Turbo, peace.